Hey guys, so let's take a quick look into the footer settings. Now, as you've probably already noticed, everything within Porto uh, is based on building blocks. So uh, the same process and concept would apply to our footer. Uh, everything is broken down into several areas. We have area number one, area two, and then our copyrights area. So as you scroll down, uh, your first and probably most important uh, thing to do is to determine the order of the areas that you want to have. So area one, two, three, uh, you can set a different orders for that area if required. You can drag them around, etc., and just kind of uh, play around with uh, the areas depending on the type of content you have, how much content you have, and so forth. Um, certain areas may not be required uh, in some cases, so uh, just think about that and then build them out accordingly. Now, as you scroll down, uh, we can make some general adjustments for the background color and the elements color. Uh, the elements color is all of the text, lines, and social media icons that appear within your footer, uh, just as we have here. Okay. Uh, next off, you can then also make some adjustments to the footer area options. So everything here is broken down into sections as well. There's area one, uh, area two, and then our copyrights area. So for area one, uh, first of all, we have the option to make this a transparent area, uh, meaning that uh, this uh, would be in line with the color of your website instead of uh, white as it would be by default. Okay, uh, then you select uh, the layout that you want to have for this area. As you scroll down, uh, options here will change accordingly based on the layout that you select. Now let's say if we take a look into type B, you'll see that these options here will change accordingly. Uh, we have our Instagram feed. You can add in your links, uh, upload images for your Instagram feed, and so forth. Uh, if we go back to type D, um, in this area, options will also change, and you can add additional text, blocks of content, testimonials, make font adjustments, and so forth. So. Um, really, I'm not going to go into much detail in terms of uh, explaining every every little option we have here because it really all just boils down to uh, adjusting fonts, adding links, um, certain options like display delimiter. Uh, this refers to this letter P and that line uh, that we have on the sides for that. So I just play around with these options. See. Uh, first of all, which option can work or which layout can work best for you and then uh, see what options that includes based on the layout that you um, that you selected. Okay, so once everything is finalized with uh, area number one, go ahead and take a look into area number two. And here we also have two different layouts to choose from type A, type B, and depending on the option that you select, you'll need to fill out content and make adjustments here accordingly. Okay. And then finally, we also have our copyrights area. Uh, once again, two different layouts, type A, type B, and then options here are fairly simple. You simply adjust the text. Okay, and uh, once everything is done, simply go ahead and click on update, then refresh uh, your website page, and you will see that um, your footers uh, will change accordingly. Now, as you can see, this changed from what it was uh, just a minute ago before I refreshed this page okay I hope everything makes sense in the following video as mentioned earlier uh, everything is pretty simple and self-explanatory in terms of these options so just uh, look into the list that we provide and make adjustments based on that okay so thanks for watching guys and I'll see you around later